What's up everybody, this is Ven bringing you another mock spotlight where we take apart what you build. For today's episode, we'll be taking a look at Onu Metro Patrol Rorzak, created and posted to our message boards by Mr. N. As it goes with all my reviews, I'll be focusing on three fundamental qualities, the overall appearance of the mock, the build of the mock itself, and whatever concepts and ideas that may have been put into the mock's creation. I'll be forming a personal opinion on this mock based on each quality, determining where the mock excels and where it could use a bit of improvement. So let's get this started. So what we have here is not an original character, it's actually a redesign of an old Bionicle set. It feels like a completely original character, while also bearing some strong resemblances to the original set. It's a really unique design and it's got a lot of its own interesting details. It's consistently sleek and smooth, there's a lot of curves that make the whole thing look very natural. It doesn't have as much greeble as the original design. And the character feels very alien, and I feel that the head exemplifies all this the best, what with the pincers looking more like tusks, the curvature at the top of the head leading into the extended back portion, the eyes being completely separate from this back portion and having their own placement on the head, and this really weird looking tongue just icing on the creepy cake. It feels less like a straight up robot and more like like something that's actually biomechanical, kind of like a xenomorph from the Alien franchise. It's all pulled off really well, and I'm truly digging the extra detail that was put into this design, some of which I haven't mentioned already, like the midsection of the torso that looks as though there's this big gray hose coming down from the chest, and the pistons on the sides, the red and yellow emblem on the character's chest, looking like it could be a symbol of status. Like this isn't just any Roar Zack, he's the Commander Roar or Zack the third or something. Then there's the arms that have this clean yet also really complex look to them and the legs which I've been staring at for so long until I finally decided that they actually look fine to me. At first I didn't like them but what it really boiled down to was the feet. I don't like the feet. I feel like with the way that the feet look they kind of mess up the flow of this mock. They don't come off as natural as everything else. It's very blatant to me that these are two different foot pieces slapped on to each other. Like the rest of this mock doesn't even look like it's made out of Lego, it looks like its own action figure and the feet kind of break that bit of an illusion for me. But really that's my only problem with this design. The build is also quite solid. It's definitely difficult to find anything wrong with it per se. It is honestly a very impressive build, just with how clean it looks and how it seamlessly combines such a wide variety of different Lego elements to put together this awesome looking action figure with a wide range of articulation, all these various possibilities for posing and it even retains the transformation feature that the original set had, where you can have him either standing on two feet or walking on all fours like a crab, and with the crab mode, I gotta say, it looks way better than the original crab mode. With the weird curve that the torso has, it makes the crab or, well, it's kind of more like a, like a spider. Anyway, it makes the spider mode look a lot less awkward. The curve might make the two-legged mode a little bit odd, but the intention is definitely clear when you put this guy in his spider mode, which, thinking about it now, appears to have way more balance than the two-legged mode, and that's probably gotta be my only criticism about the build, because aside from that, it is just unreal. How do you build with Lego like this? I still can't even figure out how to do something like this. Something that looks so clean and natural, like it was just meant to look this way. Now for anyone else who may be wondering what the builder had in mind while building this thing, he stated in the topic that he intended to create a sort of dark sci-fi version of the original set, which immediately explains all the deviations he made with this creepy and unsettling look it has. So it pretty much goes without saying that the builders succeeded to recreate the set in a new style. It definitely looks to follow more modern sci-fi design language. And as I was saying earlier, it doesn't really copy over the original design. It's not really like a replica or whatever. It is like its own design that has resemblances to the original. And all in all, I am a fan. I am a true fan of this design. Just maybe not with the feet, but everything else, muy bien. And only one thing is left on my mind, really, is that how would the other Vaki look with this sort of design language? They basically all really look the same, so I guess the real question is how would this look in other colors? Could this even be pulled off? Does Mr. N have the funds and the parts to 
do this because if you do, please, I would love to see that. I'd love to see other characters follow this sort of design language, possibly Toa, Makuta, Borok, other species, other things from Bionicle lore. And with all that said, I think that pretty much wraps this up, so congrats and thank you very much Mr. N for sharing your own creation with the rest of us over on the TTV message boards, which can be found at board.ttvchannel.com. For those of you wondering how you can get your own mock spotlight, just give us a visit and post your own mocks to the LEGO Creations category. There are only two things on my criteria, creativity and interesting characteristics. So I hope to see you guys there, if not, I thank you for watching. And I'll see you all next time.